here we are and we are about to polish some wheels so what I'm gonna do here I'm not gonna do a fancy dancy sand them down with various grit blah 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 make them perfect kind of polish I'm just gonna do a uh, little quick and easy touch up Got about 10 different kinds of polish here different products um, what I'm gonna use is my tried and true my favorite just this auto saw stuff here comes in a tube comes in a can cans almost empty so today I'll use the tube uh, I like this stuff because it has a lot of solvent in it and the solvent seems to be what cuts through all the uh, the dirt grit grime and crap on here um, our challenge with wheels around here is that our washout area about eight months of the year is slurry about 10 inches deep and it gets splashed up on all the wheels and you end up with this this staining so what I'm gonna do here to get started I'll just give this a little a little wipe get that sand and grit out of there and like I said if I was gonna do a, a real professional job here I would get a, uh, a sanding tool and I'd sand out all these little nicks in the aluminum these are all from hoses being pulled off the pump and smacking off the aluminum wheel um, all the concrete all that stuff I would pick all that off I like the pressure washer with the uh, orbital tip on it for removing the concrete um, but today I might I might do a quick touch with a scraper just to get that stuff off and then we're just gonna do this with a uh, pneumatic drill with the uh, mother's power cone on the end there this one eh, it's seen better days but it'll get the job done today and then we'll just use some of this stuff some of the other products here uh, this stuff, the wheels are really bad. You'll wipe them down with it first, and it gives you a nice clean uh, base. I've tried this stuff. This one pairs with this one. This stuff is just, to me, it's just junk. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't cut through nearly, nearly uh, aggressively enough. So anyway, I'll grab my little scraper here. We'll pick some of this concrete off. Once they get it off the hook here like so and we'll just come in here and some of this stuff I'll just oh yeah that's nice scrapers covered in grease step one make sure your scraper is clean so we'll wipe this down like so wipe the grease off that wheel like so and this stuff here let's take the scraper lightly pick it off it scratches the surface of the wheel a little bit. I'm not too concerned that the minor stuff will polish out. Like I said, I'm just trying to get these to look good from, you know, five, 10 feet away. As you can see right now. Not too shiny. So we'll quickly blast the wheels on this side. We'll do a little before and after and I'll film some of this while I'm doing it. And uh, yeah, we'll walk through the process here. So we'll get all plugged in here. Grab my polish. Should grab this one. And when I first get started, because this uh, this uh, power cone, this uh, foam cone here is dry, um, I'm going to use quite a bit of polish on this first rim. And once this can, thing gets saturated um, on the uh, preceding wheels, I will use less. Uh, less polish actually on the wheel, so it's just about getting it saturated first because it's dry. It's gonna, it's gonna suck up that first bit of polish. So I'm gonna go around here, just dab it around like so. Do some dabs on the inner spokes there. I'll put quite a bit here to start, just to get this thing nicely soaked with product. Put on one of these. Actually, I'll put some more there. A little more. Here we go. It's just eating this stuff up. can see there all the little imperfections all the nicks and whatnot um, like I said I'm not uh, not too worried about that today this is just a, a quick little touch up
I'll take my rag. Once these get uh, saturated and well used, they actually work really well for buffing things out because it's got a little bit of uh, the polishing fines impregnated into it. So this is a nicely saturated rag. And yeah, there's some concrete splatter and stuff on here too. If I had a little more time, I would take that off. Normally I'll do this on site between uh, waiting on concrete or whatnot. Um, just happened to have a little extra time in the yard today, so here we are. Just like that, if you stand back, see how much better that looks compared to what it was like this. So I'm going to set the camera down here on time lapse. I'll do this one wheel and then we'll check in when it's all polished out and then maybe we'll move on and do a front wheel. Okay, so I've worked this pretty good with this power cone. Um, when, it, when you've got a newer one that doesn't have quite so many miles on it, uh, the cone is a little bit more pronounced, the cone tip on it, uh, which works a lot better for getting in between these lug nuts. Uh, I'll end up doing a lot of this stuff just by hand with my, uh, my finishing rag here. We'll just do a, a quick lap with this. Just so we can kind of get a, an idea what the finished product is gonna be like. A little tough to do here with the camera in one hand and the rag in the other, but we'll get there. The front wheels are a lot easier because you don't have all these, uh, the knot is, is dished. It's more of a flat face, so everything's easier to access. But as you can see, there is a lot of concrete splatter on these wheels. But maybe through my daily wash procedure, I'll get the uh, pressure washer on this stuff. Pressure washer works well for peeling it off, so. Get around these spokes a little better. Okay, so let's do the, uh, the 10 foot test. Okay, so that's after. Let's go around and have a look at a before. That's what they were like before. Before. After. I would say that passes the 20 foot test. So I'm gonna touch this one up a little more by hand. Then I'll move on to this front one here. Should be a lot quicker and easier. It doesn't have nearly the amount of concrete splatter and surface damage to it as the rear ones do and uh, we'll check in and see how they look when they're all done but like I said of all the products we've tried over the years by far this stuff is numero uno everybody I don't know how many people have told me about some miracle polish where you just touch it with a rag and it comes out perfect uh, I have yet to find it but I do find autosol is the most effective in my experience so yeah, we'll carry on here and as I'd mentioned earlier, now that this uh, cone, foam cone, powerball finishing tool thingamajobber, uh, now that it's nicely saturated with polish, uh, I'm gonna use a lot less polish on the surface of the wheel before hitting it with the cone. Just a couple little, with little dabs like so. A couple little dabs up between the lug nuts, like so. If you use too much of this stuff, you're just increasing the amount of work for yourself, so. I got more coming out of the side of the tube than I do from the tip, which is why I like the tins of this stuff much better, and the fact that it's way more cost-effective, cost-efficient purchasing it by the tin. Anyhow, let's try and do this with one hand here. Just 
like that. Let's see what we got. Look at that. After, before, after, before. I'll do a time lapse on the rest of this wheel and then we'll check in here when we're done this side. Alright, so when you look at that, after, before, after, yeah, so that literally took like not even five minutes on that wheel, so Pure wheels are relatively clean to begin with, which these ones eh, were, were a little bit suspect. It's even a faster process. So this is something I like to do. I'll keep the pneumatic drill on the pump and the pump does produce enough uh, uh, air capacity or air volume, I should say, to, to run that, uh, that pneumatic drill. And I'll occasionally polish these up uh, in between trucks on site if I'm waiting for concrete, whatever. Just touch them up every few weeks maybe a little bit more frequently in the winter time with all the salt and whatnot on our roads be nice to get some new center caps these ones have taken a little bit of a little bit of a beating but uh yeah that's all it takes and looks way better from 10 feet away finish them off with some tire shine and away we go so this stuff here we get from costco it's the cheapest stuff out there um is it the most effective yeah not really it goes on there like water, so it comes off pretty quick too. I know there's some like more syrupy type tire shines out there. They're a little bit more uh, resilient to uh, wear and tear. But uh, ooh, give this a little, little foamy foamy. Trying not to get any on our freshly polished wheel surface. Foam it in place. And just let it drip down the surface of the wheel. come in and check back once the tire shine has done its magic little thing and we'll end off the video and there she is final product polished up tire shined up way better than before god they almost look good from five feet away so that was legitimately about uh, five minutes per wheel on average i'll say the back ones i spent six the front ones i spent four So much better. And I will say, this is just a uh, quick touch up. I know there's guys that do a way more thorough job of this with the sanding and whatnot, and they come out looking like factory shine polish. Um, this is just to keep them looking good enough. So that's the whole principle of this, just a quick little 20 minute touch up, rather than uh, spending hours on end in the shop. With our climate here, it's so tough to keep them looking factory shiny. Um, this is more realistic and easily achievable. And like I said, this is like a, be nice to hit this once a month like this, but really every, every three months or so, if you can get on them with the tools, it's easy to keep them looking presentable anyhow. So I am happy with this. And just like that, we'll call this one a day. Autosol polish, that is the product. Um, one last quick mention, the other one I've used that's really good and I didn't have on my display here is uh, Zephyr 40. That stuff works really well. Uh, a little bit more difficult to get in our area. We don't really have a dealer for it around here, so Autosol is the one that we go with. Super happy with it. So, anyhow, that'll be it. Over and out.